good source of big, big pot of gold for the IOC was territorial Olympic television rights. Actually earning much more money than the, the partners. Uh, and they were exclusive rights, and so like NBC could pay vast sums of money, so lots of advertising, guaranteed exclusive distribution in their territory, just as in every other country in the world. Now, these uh, little buggers, who we hate when they're you know, getting our credit card numbers and selling them to gangsters, they could yet redeem themselves in our eyes. And in fact, I asked Dick about this, and uh, Dick Pound in uh, Copenhagen, because I can see this as a coming story, and I was, just said, I did, well, not about the IOC. What do you reckon about the hacking that's going to happen in the internet streaming of the Olympics? He said, yeah, it is a problem. And it is because those little bastards are so clever, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so they're going out playing healthy sport and getting injections from coaches. They're sitting at home into the night on their keyboard writing lines of code that could destroy NBC. And we're really sad about that, aren't we? Yeah? So what if the money tap is turned off, it's all over. And then I think very good things might happen. We shouldn't have this farce of um, relocating the games every four years. They surely should be left, let's say, Not here. Athens. <laughs> <laughs> Point there. I think actually, after all the happy family, all the propaganda, if the IOC actually said, well, we're a bit short of a few dollars at the moment, let's come back to Barcelona, Athens, Sydney, even Beijing. And every four years we'll hold them there, maybe for the next 20 years, and then we'll have a look at the facilities, see if we need to move on, update them, whatever. You know, not just spending hundreds of millions of whatever currency on a facility which is used for two or three days yeah. and then rusts as they are in Australia and in Athens. So they may be forced to that because if the money evaporates, they're going to have to actually come back to the world we inhabit of having to pay your bills out of your own pocket. <coughs> so good on those little bastards in Moldova, <laughs> Taiwan, wherever they are, they seem to be coming for those territories. Maybe the lights go out early in the evening and they just work over their keyboards. But they could rescue us. Funny, funny things happen. Won't help with the live broadcasts.